Hello and welcome to our group's video on Oliver Sacks Phantoms. We will talk a little about what a phantom is, where it occurs and what does it affect and then we will finish off with a conclusion. Phantoms is a chapter in a famous book called The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat by the late neurologist Oliver Sacks. He described phantoms as a persistent image or memory of a part of a body, Sacks, 1985, page 37. Phantom limbs are a fascinating occurrence where the presence of an amputated limb or a body part is felt. 90 to 98% of people who have a limb removed experience a phantom. In many cases, it fades from consciousness a few days or weeks after the amputation, but it can persist for years. Ramachandran and Herstein, 1998. In Oliver Sacks' book, he has one chapter involves phantom limbs which he describes as a persistent image or memory of part of the body. Sachs, 1985, page 37. At the time they thought that the patients most likely to acquire these illnesses were either post-conflict or war. Those who had their remo limbs removed in conflict or those who were born underdeveloped. Sachs, 1985, stated that it seems that phantoms were required for prosthesis to work properly with cases that people who have missing limbs sometimes hit their stumps to engage the phantom to appear. Speculation into the cause of phantoms was rife with cortex-related flaws and distal-related causes, such as nerve block damage, neuromas, and causes including the central nervous system, primarily discussed. Sachs admitted the research at the time of publishing was confusing and more speculative than scientific, Nonetheless, these hallucinations were at times frightening and obstructing to the person. The cause of phantom limbs is not fully understood, but is thought to have something to do with the reorganization of the body's sensory map to compensate for the missing body parts. In many cases, there is pain or discomfort, and this can persist for months or years. There are various treatments, some using prescribed medicines and others that focus on tricking the brain into thinking the pain is not there. Phantom pain is classed as neuropathic pain and the approach for treatment is generally pursued by the pharmaceutical industry. Conservative phantom pain therapy consists of drug treatment with amtripoline, tramadol, carbamazepine, ketamine or morphine, Wolf et al. 2011. New research is being gathered to help understand these medications better. There are also non-drug treatments for phantom pain that focus on giving the brain visual cues to override the perception of pain, such as mirror box therapy and virtual reality therapy. Burn, 2009. The success of the therapies is interesting as they highlight the role of the brain in the perception of pain. Patients who have limb removed often complain that pain was the present prior to the amputation and it often persists afterwards. Ramakandan and Herstein speculate that pain medication should be given prior to amputation to ensure the patient has pain-free memory of that limb incorporated into their body image. The prognosis was that phantom pain would probably disappear over time and if not the patient would hopefully adapt with treatment. Tayanova 2015 reported that one's body image plays a significant role in self-esteem. The body image may be considered as essential in a person's sense of importance. An amputee's body image may change as a result of the lost limb. Murray 2002 expressed that amputees tend to find it easier to use a prosthesis when their body image of the amputee limb is relatively normal. Children do not experience the same occurrences of phantoms as adults, which may be due to the reduced amount of time the body image has to establish itself. Interestingly, children born with missing limbs have reported experience in phantoms. In conclusion, phantom limbs and phantom pain allow us to identify the central role played by the brain in construction sensations of touch and pain. These sensations have an evolutionary purpose. At times our survival has depended on a belief in the perception of pain. A look at the puzzle of phantoms has shown us how effective the brain is in this endeavour.